Hello, this is Catherine again with the Homestead Academy, and I'm continuing with my little series here on how I do my home organization binders. If you want to learn more about the binders, um, the video on home management is where I kind of go over uh, why I like these binders so much, but basically just Staples brand binder. So this is my meal planning binder, the cover sheet, the label on the side, on the, on the binding. Again, I keep these in a glass fronted cabinet in my kitchen, so it's important to me that everything looks organized and tidy since everybody can see it. So I like how these binders just, um, you know, they line up nicely together. So the meal planning binder is a work in progress. Um, I'm still filling things in in it, and I'll explain as I go. But um, when you open it up, I have these Avery dividers. And this is broken down into seven, I'm sorry, 10 sections. Uh, my monthly menu, shopping list, current recipes, helpful hints, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and miscellaneous holidays. Um, before that first divider, I have a couple of things that I made on the computer. Um, this is my pantry list, and I've laminated it. And I keep this pretty up to date. I just went shopping, so I actually don't have anything on here that I need. But uh, this is for all the spices, all the things that I like to always have on hand in my pa pantry. And what I do is I use a wet erase marker um, and check off as I need things, as I run out of things. Then when I make my shopping list out, I look at this and I can say, oh, okay, yeah, I used up all the you know, mustard powder or whatever. And um, note that I need to buy that. So... And then this is a same kind of deal except for all the um, household items like soap and shampoo and lint roll refills and detergent and that kind of stuff. So, and again, I use a wet erase marker. And if you don't know what those are, and I didn't until not too long ago, but uh, dry erase markers like what you would use on a whiteboard at school where you just go like that and they wipe right off. Wet erase markers is what I use on these kind of things because if you write with it, it stays as you're turning the page and you're touching it, it doesn't wipe off, but then you can just take a damp cloth and just go like this and then it will come off. Then this is something I got from Home Storage Solutions 101 and I'll put a link for this in the, um, you know, below, but it's uh, just a freezer storage time cheat sheet thing. So the first thing is the calendar. I plan my meals out a month in advance and, and in my home management binder on the calendar I set aside a day for that where I sit down and figure out what meals we're going to have for that month and then I put them down in this calendar. And again I'm not I'm not super strict about this. Um, you know it's okay if we don't have shrimp stir fry on Tuesday the 13th. Uh, but it's on there. I know I have the ingredients for it and you know, it's not, I, I know I can make this without having to go out and buy anything. I go to the store twice a month. I go at the beginning of the month to buy all of the pantry items, freezer items, that kind of stuff for the whole month, canned goods uh, for the whole month, and then produce, milk, and stuff for the first two weeks. Then I go at that midway point and buy the produce, milk, and stuff for the last two weeks. Uh, it helps me save money just by not going uh, to the store every couple of days. So again, like like I said, uh, you know, the 21st of the month has already passed. Um, we did not have meatloaf and mashed potatoes because we ended up having something else that night. I don't remember, but, you know, probably leftovers from the night before. So, um, you know, so like I said, we're not super strict, but it's, I know that I have all those things for this. And then at the end of the month, you know, it's almost here, and I know we're not going to have this Um by the end of the month, I know we're not going to have Swedish meatballs by the end of the month. I know the salmon, salmon and quinoa is not going to happen this month. So I'll just move those over to February. And um, when I do the February menu. So that's that calendar. The second uh, divider here is for my shopping list. And again, this is something I just did on uh, Microsoft Word, I guess. Uh, and it just is broken down by how, you know, by different categories. And so there's several copies in here. And the, then, of course, I have it on the computer if I need to make more copies. Then the next section are, this is a 
just a slip cover sheet here. Um, and I've used my label maker and stuck something that's, uh, a little label on for current. These are the recipes that I have printed out that I'm using for this month. And I just pull them out and slip them here so they're all ready to go. So the next section is helpful hints. And these are things, again, that you know I've just printed out from the internet, things I want to reference later, similar to the house cleaning and house organization section in my home management binder. This is related to uh, food and grocery store, um, drugstore purchases, that kind of thing. This was um, a thing I printed out from couponmom.com, and I'll put that link below too. There's also printouts of, uh, you know, diets that I've tried that I, you know, want to do again or what, you know, that kind of stuff is in here also. The next section is where we get into the holidays. And this is the part that's a work in progress for me. These are not, um, these are not completely done, but these are broken up by the holidays. So uh, there's a printout for a meal, a menu planner. Uh, these are for big family. Uh, we have a, a my husband has a big family, and so when we do dinners, there's usually a lot of people, and it requires a lot of uh, thought and preparation. So this is uh, for Easter. These are things that I make at Easter time. There's a few different things in here. Um, and these are the things that we make every Easter. The next section is 4th of July. This is looking pretty blank and sad. There's like a couple of Jello recipes, and that's it. Like I said, work in progress. Um, the next section is set aside for... Uh, Halloween and then we have Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving and Christmas both have these schedule sheets because these are major holidays where if I don't have every hour of my day planned out uh, guests will arrive and the potatoes haven't been peeled and I'm still in my pajamas so this keeps me on track on those major holidays. And so again, we have you know, things for dinner, things for dessert, and then the big, um, big printouts, and then Christmas. Things. And, and the, Christmas, um, the Christmas stuff is not the things that I make every year. It's just um, some of it is and some of it is ideas that I found throughout the year that I think, oh, that would be neat to make this year, and I'll stick it in there. And then this is uh, a section for miscellaneous holidays like Valentine's Day for birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day, and that kind of thing. And like I said, the whole recipe part of it is, um, you know, I'm still working on that. My goal is to whittle down my 110 cookbooks and make photocopies of, the, of just the recipes that I actually use so that I can donate the cookbooks and free up some shelf space. So that's the intent behind these holiday pockets is to eventually have all of that stuff in here instead of in the cookbooks. So that is uh, my meal planning binder. If you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments and I will answer them and I will um, film the rest of those binder videos and post them up on YouTube shortly. Thank you for watching. Bye.